to go to the National Museum of Korea, so we are here now. It's really cold out today, but it's very beautiful, and I'm excited. I'm also tired, but I figured like I want to make the most of every part of this trip, and so I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. I see so. <laughs> fucking vlog and I know a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was recovering from my freckle removal and it's still not completely done I still you won't be able to see it on camera but I still do have some freckles on the bridge of my nose and on the right side of my face mostly but it was healed enough for me to be able to put on makeup for the first time in about a week and it feels so good number one because I love to do makeup and number two I feel like in Korea and especially Seoul they really like to you know be put together when they go outside and I feel like without my face like done in the way that I would usually do it, even though it's not like Korean beauty type makeup, it's very American. I do still feel a little bit like out of place in that sense. I think I'm just a little bit more like confident, productive, heavy emphasis on productivity uh, when I feel like I'm fully like ready to tackle everything that's going to come up. Anyway, so today I had class in the morning and then I do have number one, a lot of editing for the last vlog to catch up on, but I haven't done it yet. I have a test tomorrow, an oral exam based on the grammar that we've been learning for the past few weeks and I need to study for that so we have a lot to do in that sense um, but also I do have to go to get another suitcase so I have you know the giant pink suitcase that I bought for this trip but I'm going to need another one because I bought stuff, I bought gifts and I'm going to need to be able to take it back so I leave this accommodation like housing on Saturday morning and then I switch to another like Airbnb before I leave Korea in the next few days after that and so before I go to that accommodation that Airbnb I need to have you know something to move the clothes that I currently have so I do need to find a suitcase and then also I'm supposed to have dance class today I think I should be able to make it if I hurry um and get this shit done but also I want to go to Olive Young I have a lot of stuff that I have not bought I just I don't I didn't want to go into Olive Young with like a bare face like looking around like I wanted them to know for some this is so dumb like in my head I feel like in some way and I could just be you know know psyching myself out but that in some ways in Korea they care like whether you're put together or not and that's a reflection of how much care you put into yourself right and so if I'm gonna go to a place that specializes in skincare and beauty and all these things that are very much taking care of your face and how you present yourself to other people and how you know healthy it is for you as well um then I kind of wanted to just like have my face on for that whatever I don't know now I'm just rambling but you get my flow you catch my drift <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have a lot to do, but I just wanted to pop in here because I have missed vlogging and I also have not gotten really any good footage of me like doing anything in the past week just because I have been running around a lot and also not feeling comfortable to talk in front of a camera without a mask on just in general as well. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you soon. Okay, love you. Bye! <laughs>
January 25th. Today is Thursday and I just finished getting back from some olive yum shopping. Um, but first of all, today was my second to last day of classes and also it was a test and it was on grammar that we've been learning for the past few weeks and I did study a little bit but yeah I don't know it's just cool to kind of be in a class environment again this past few weeks of like learning and having homework and studying and doing all that so it's so the first time I've had a test in a long long time but that's kind of also the fun of it but I don't know anyways okay we also did something called rock bowling which is really just bowling but with like fluorescent shoes bowling pins <laughs> bowling balls it was really fun as a class um, and then I hopped into style on Honda because I have not been there um, this whole trip and it's a place that I did want to go so made sure I got that done before I left Korea and then my big Olive Young haul so I have not been to Olive Young to really shop this entire trip which is kind of crazy because Korea is like the skincare capital of the world and all the skincare and makeup is just goes crazy but I wanted to save it for a day where I could really just go in and look and I kind of fucked up because I think I went to the wrong location I thought I went to the larger one in Hongdae but it was like really small and I was like crowded with a lot of other people and I was just like it was kind of stressful in that sense because I had a list of things that I've been doing research I've been watching so many YouTube videos seeing like different blogs and articles about like what are the products that I need to get while I'm here um, so I did my best to like prep for it but I think I still need to make like one or two trips just because I also need to buy gifts for people and that is one of the big reasons that I went to all of young because for me skincare I really appreciate it and also especially after like getting these freckles off everything it's they're almost all off <laughs> I do want to take even better care of my skin than before to really have you know the healthiest glowiest skin I possibly can but yeah so I was holding off for a little bit but now I was like ready to go so I'll just take you through what I got really quick quick as I can he protects him because I ran out. When I went to the scalp treatment place, the lady gave me products. So I did end up buying some products that she says I have to use every day. I have to wash my hair every day. She's like, your hair needs it. You need to do this for your scalp all this stuff. So if I'm washing my hair every day, then I'm going to need to kind of blow dry it every day. So otherwise I would have just like sucked it up for the last few days of my trip. Plus I am also going to Singapore for two days after this so that's crazy too but yeah anyway so I needed heat protectant that was just like non-negotiable at this point um this is for my friend this is a sunscreen that I've heard good things about um so I'm bringing that back for him this okay in America expensive right and I love Ayana Grande and I've never seen any single Ulta in America <laughs> that I've been in have testers so i had no idea what the fuck this perfume smelled like but i've seen so many like pictures and videos and all the promo for it and i've been obsessed with it and i only have one ariana grande perfume and it's this moonlight one and it's like my signature scent or whatever but so i'm very hesitant i never buy other perfumes because it's just my one scent but i smelled this in Olive Young and it smelled good and it was on sale so I was like you know what I have to get it I have to get it and the lady when she pulled it out of the back for me she was like this is the last one so I was like okay fate okay okay <laughs> and then I have um like a 13 year old kind of cousin slash family friend who I just got her some press-ons um because I know that she will like those this is a blemish serum that I've heard good things about going along with that whole keeping my freckled Freckle removed face, freckle -less. I've been talking about that a lot, but anyways, that, that was a big thing for me when I was here. This is a face cream that I've heard really good things about, the Atto Barrier 365 Cream by Estura. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, Estura Atto Barrier Cream. Yeah. So, so I also got that. Next we have just... <laughs> A lash curler mine is like gross and I'm done with it I wasn't gonna necessarily buy this but they did say on the box that it won some like olive young awards in 2022 so I was like okay you know what it's probably a good eyelash curler for my tiny super short Asian girl eyelashes so I did that I heard really good things about this mix soon essence so I did grab that this one is from my brother it's the IO I don't know what this brand calls it Ice Hoi, yeah, Ice Hoi, um, little spot treatment. And then the last couple of things, so I got two Mediheal 
math packs to give as like part of gifts for friends and then I also got oh my god I've been hearing so many different things about their toner pads from Metaheal and I hear like they're the best thing ever so I did get two sets of two each and this is the tea tree one and this is the collagen one I think my mom might like the collagen one so I'm bringing her some of those and I think my brother might really like the tea tree one so I'm also gonna try it but it's a lower priority for me than giving it to people um so yeah that's where I'm at. That is the haul so far. I'm sure I will have to go back to Olive Young because I do have, I don't think, I was doing the mental calculations. I don't think I have enough masks for the people that I'm trying to um, give gifts for because I have one, two, three, four, like 10 different people. So it's not enough masks. So I'm going to need to get more stuff. Also, my friend's birthday is February 2nd, which is the day after I come back. Um, so I do need to get a gift for him while I'm here. Just stuff like that. But anyways, um, I'm going to go sit down for a sec. Maybe do my homework. But I just wanted to get that um, all shown to you guys. But like, there's so many things to reflect on as my trip is like coming to an end. And it's very, very bittersweet. And I'll probably talk about it a lot more um, in a future thing but I am very tired it's been so fucking cold and I just kind of want to sit down for a sec so I will see you tomorrow so I made some new friends in class today um and we've been friends like we've talked to each other we've all been nice to each other but we really had some time while <laughs> for the test it was an oral exam so we would all take turns and while everybody was waiting we were just talking with each other and I think we might get together or try to get together before I leave um, so I don't know I'm very thankful that I was able to make connections with people here like even when we were bowling like that was fun that was fun I don't know anyways I keep saying I don't know I keep saying all this stuff my ponytail hurts I smell the mod vanilla it smells really good it's also making me a little bit like sleepy yeah I'm gonna go I love you I will see you soon bye <laughs>
Sur, I think it's called Sur Gallery. It's for Korean alcohol and it's kind of like a museum. And then here they're talking about all of the history of like Korean foods and types of Korean foods. And it's very interesting. I really only came here to buy some soju to take home to my family, but huh, huh. You guys stop, meet the pop tour. Oh, oh my God, you're kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> Today is my last day, my last full day in Korea. Tomorrow I'm leaving for the airport around like 6 a.m. ish. Um, so really this is my last like morning day, everything here. Um, and so right now I started the morning by going to the post office and this is my first time going to the post office in Korea because I wanted to mail back some of my things so that I didn't have to lug around like a bajillion pieces of luggage at multiple different airports <laughs> so I was like you know what I'm just going to mail some of that stuff back to myself and so that was a whole ordeal the lady at the post office was so nice she helped like get me a discount tried to help me size down my stuff so that it would cost the least amount possible walked me through the forms in like Korean and English we were speaking to each other in Korean and English and it was like I was just so grateful to her because I would have been lost without her and now I'm gonna go to a cafe and I have not really done like a cafe hopping trip in at least a week or so um, but I decided my last day I'm gonna do it so this one's called I think rain project and they do this thing where they actually like let it rain in the cafe not I don't know I don't know I just know what I saw on TikTok and on neighbor um, like blogs and stuff like that so I'm gonna check it out and I think today is just gonna be a very relaxing like kind of stroll the streets have my last little like convenience store trip in Korea like all this stuff and I'm just really um, I don't know I just want to make the most of it but at the same time like I am kind of done putting all this pressure on myself of like you have to do this before you leave you have to go to Namsan Tower like I, part of me wanted to go to Namsan Tower but I honestly think like the best time to go would be at night and tonight I just don't want to have to think about anything at all except okay I'm gonna set my alarm for tomorrow morning you know what I'm saying so <laughs> right now all I want to do is just try to take it easy try to enjoy rest up because tomorrow and the day after that um, and the day after that will be like my days in Singapore where I have to like go 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 and then all this traveling and stuff and that always takes a toll so yeah gonna do our best we're gonna leave for the cafe now my battery is on low unfortunately so maybe I have to bring my charger to the cafe um, but yeah we'll see okay I will see you there love you bye <laughs> So fine, what's up, what's up, how did I make you mine, damn it.